Uh, hey, uh, <laughs> what's up? Mr. Ma here, and um, today I'm showing y'all the first game that I ever made, and the first game me and my team made at school, which was um, F uh, Blockade. <laughs> This so this was um this was an this was a FBLA game which is a Future Business Leaders of America and what that is um I'll try to throw it up on screen I'm smart enough to put it in there but uh so basically it's like a school like like I'm a high school I'm a I'm a senior in high school right now and what that is is um it's a <laughs> uh, a big organization of people yada 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 they basically just test you on bun on a bunch of like business things that could be used in the real world and there's like competitions and right now we're in states right now we're waiting for the results to see if we move on to nationals which uh i don't know i got a, i got a good feeling about it but you know you never know <laughs> someone could come in with like undertale 2 and stuff and like just beat us out but you know and um so let me get right into the game so blockade the restrictions so this is this is not a puzzle game that i would that i would have made if not for the restrictions, which I guess could be a good or a bad thing. Um, sorry, it, it might it might be a little unformatted, but I'm just kind of going live on it because I don't know. I just I just I just been meaning to get. I've been wanting to record this. Like I just documented for myself, honestly. But like, so the restrictions were: it has to be a business puzzle game, and then it has to have lives, high score, and a scoreboard. I don't know the difference between a high score and a scoreboard, but yeah that's the thing so the main issue with us for designing it was lives but since this was my first game i don't know about the other two but it was it was my first game personally like i've ever made <laughs> i've done like mods before and i i did I, I did like a little bit of a rom hack once for pokemon but i quit that <laughs> so this is the first ever game i really ever made and i i think it turned out pretty good it's kind of boring like not boring but like it there's nothing that like would make it stand out you know like like how like um baba is you like that's a very unique or like fez like, you know it's very unique mechanics but there's nothing i would say that's really genre you know like would really like pull you in besides just like oh it's just another puzzle game you know but uh, i guess let's get into it i'll show you i'll show you how it plays and all it um really like this screen <laughs> So we have like the logo screen and then you know this screen <laughs> I I I I know the quality but it, it bothers me every day the quality of like this cutscene is like legitimate dog water it's shit <laughs> there's nothing else to say it's really bad but that that was my fault I I made the game when I was so if, if you don't know I'm working in Godot which is like I really love the engine. I, I, I'm at school. We're learning like I'm taking like gaming class at school and you like they have us like we're like starting to do like unreal and stuff after we got like a couple certifications, but I, I'm personally a fan of Godot. It's really lightweight can run on like a laptop, which is what I got unreal <laughs> That shit can't even run on the school computers and they got like they started to buy like actual computers, bro I don't know who gave them that budget, bro. That school was broke but um so yeah, this is the game, you know, like, just simple all around, you know, just everything works, you know what I mean? Uh, is the, is the controls uh, area, tells you how to play all that. And then, uh, high score. So this, this is, I'm assuming what a leaderboard should be. I mean, we haven't gotten banned from, like, for not doing a rule, so I guess it must be close enough, but. Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll get into the game and I'll show you how it's, a. Uh, it's, it's, it's just like a pretty simple like if, if you know what Sokoban is it's like Sokoban which which is what I base it off of because that's another thing too is um oh yeah, I, did, I did like text and like a so basically it's supposed to be like you f okay so like for what I have for like the game is what I think it's supposed to be like in my mind uh, that screen shake that took me a minute to put in the game bro that screen shake but um so what what I imagine is like, so you try to get into FBLA and then the uh, the jits push you off and then you got to make your way back to the top and it's like you're at the bottom floor and each time you beat a level, you go in like, like those doors, for me, that's like an elevator, you know what I mean? And it's like, it closes and you go up a level and you got to get all the way back to the top, right? And it's, it, the, the competition isn't done yet, so we're not like, it's not, I have it on itch, I'll put the link in the description below, but like, it's not per se like uh it's not it's not done it, 
Like, I'm, I'm okay if this is, like, how far it got, but it won't because, I mean, if as long as we get to Nationals, we'll still be working on it. Like, if there'll be an ending cutscene, I'm gonna ask Trent to fix. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me... <laughs> Lord, I am not an artist. Let me just get this out the way. So, I was basically, like, the lead programmer slash designer. And then Trent... Trent did all the art assets. And then uh, Tyler did all the music. And he did he did some of the programming. He, def he, definitely, he definitely was helping me on some of the programming. And he, uh... <laughs> Lord bless him. He showed me about uh, GitHub Desktop. Oh my God, that made this that made my life so much easier. But uh, damn, what was I talking about? But yeah, like the elevator, yada yada yada, bullshit. You know what I'm talking about. And it's it's really simple. And the way I've done it is like a three level mechanic, which I f it might be in like a different game. But like the way I do it is like I introduce a mechanic, and then I just iterate it on it two times, and then it's done. But the way the way it is right now, I want all this to be just like one big tutorial level, and then I'll make like like actual levels. But that's if I really want to like get the game like going, you know. <laughs> one dream I had for this game was I wanted to put it on Cool Math. I couldn't tell you why. I just I don't know, bro. I love Cool Math as a kid, bro, and I, I'm always like, and I've always wanted to like. Uh, Ah oh, fuck! <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. So you have limited moves. How did I forget that? You have limited moves, a time, and lives. Once you run out of lives, you go straight to the leaderboard, and then they count. You know the score calculation. Uh, if you run out of, it's different moves per level, and if you run out of moves, you uh, you you die. You lose a life, and then the timer is just like the longer it takes, the less you know, like the less score. You know what I mean? That's all it is like. That that that's basically what that is. And um. Uh. <laughs> oh shit! I'm tripping. This game, bro. And uh, I did put it on itch. Uh, as of right now, it has 24 views. I know, bro. Made it big, bro. That new indie game. Hello, bang. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't do like. I didn't even want to do a donation because it's such like a like. Like, I won't even want people to donate on this game. If I want people to donate, bruh, I want it to be something, like, good. Which, I am working on another game right now. Like, the two main ones that I'm working on are this one and a platformer, which I'm really... It's really it's really coming good. I, I kind of... it's uh, Yeah, but uh, let me talk about this game. I'm sorry. It's, I'm not used to fucking talking while I'm trying to explain some shit. Oh, did I just fuck it up? I fucked it up. Uh... I guess I guess it could also be like a tutorial of how to beat all the levels, but I mean I don't know about cringe. You go right there. You go right there. Come to uh key ah uh, uh fucking what hold on bro I'm tripping. <laughs> give me I'm sorry y'all give me one second bro you gotta like this I'm tripping. Then you go there. Okay. Uh, oh my god I'm brained what am I doing okay. Fuck, I died. <laughs> so, uh, okay, I guess you don't get to see all the levels then. There, there wasn't that many after that. There was, like, there was two more levels after that key gimmick. But, um, name, uh, I don't know, bruh. Puskinti? Puska? Nah, that's trash. <laughs> uh, 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 what? <laughs> Bernard? Duh? Okay, Bernard. That's valid. So usually there would also be like a high, like a, it would flash. If you got a new high score, which I didn't because I'm garbage, it would like flash like new high score. But uh, yeah, so I guess let me really get into the meat, the potatoes of this game. <laughs> um, so yeah, so just very simple top down movement. And what I would recommend, because I think this really helped me like kind of, like, like, like it kind of helped me focus on the game more. I would say, because I know people like to do game jams. I, I haven't done one yet because I'm, I don't feel like I'm strong enough of a programmer yet, or I don't have enough of like a good foundation of like other stuff to like help me. But um, this, I mean, this was kind of like a like a really long game jam, which I think what I recommend for people to do, like, make a game that you normally wouldn't make. Now, like, I'm not gonna say like make a game you don't want to make because that's probably not good for anybody, but. Like, a puzzle game, like, I would never, like, when I was, like, a kid thinking about it, I always wanted to make platformers, and, like, I never wanted to make a puzzle game, ever. At all. Never, not even, not even in the brain, bruh, like, but that was the theme, and then, like, I wasn't comfortable with it, so 
I had to really like get my fundamentals down because with like a platformer I know like all like the extra gimmicks like the dash the wall jump the whatever but for this one I really had to like scale it back because I don't I'm not good at I, I'm not a I'm not a puzzle designer <laughs> I'm not good at, I'm not really good at designing puzzles you know so it really helped me like focus it more and then also having like a due date to finish because when you don't have a due date to finish you kind of meander but with this game like I think it was like three months for like districts and then three more months for no no, no. it was like it was like four months maybe four months for for districts and maybe like a month for 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 uh states and it having a deadline is very helpful which i i which could fall in the game jam thing but they're so fast you don't really get a like i mean i guess if you're already like good at programming i guess it wouldn't matter but for if you're like starting out yeah do something you're not comfortable with like like it, like let's say you love puzzle games or something like do um <laughs> i don't know do like a what, what the uh, I don't even know, man. Do like an RPG or something, bro. Like, just do something you're not, you're not, you normally wouldn't like be comfortable with. Because I feel like it really helps you look at making a game differently. Because, and it, it limits your feature scope. Because I don't know puzzle features. Like, I know like the undo button to like do your move back, but I am not smart enough to figure that out. <laughs> and um, like, I don't know any other puzzle mechanics, you know. So I really had to like make it simple. But for the platform I'm making. The issue with that for a little bit, and I'll stop talking about it in a second, but is that like so I just kept wanting to like you know like you like make a game and you have like the main move sets before you really move on. So I have like I have attack, jump, wall jump, wall slide, you know, and like attack bounce and all that. And I kept thinking of like, am I missing mechanics? I think I kept thinking of mechanics that other games have, and it's messing me up because. I'm, all my mechanics are done. Everything that I want in the game is done, but I keep thinking like I'm missing something. And it, it's really bad because <laughs> I'm going to get stuck on like just keep adding stuff and feature creeping until like mess up. So so yeah, like doing something like you're not familiar with really helps you dial it back and just like the bare bones of what you need to make a game, especially when you're starting out. I, th In my opinion, I think it was really helpful. But um, God, this video is going to be long. As <laughs> Ain't nobody going to watch this long ass video, bro. But, um, yeah, so let me, oh my god, let me tell you all about the, um, <laughs> uh, the, the, the thing that really, like, this, this was a make it or break it for the, um, the, uh, and I would also recommend working with a team, because when you work with a team, you really, like, because if I'm working by myself, like, I don't usually, like, quit a, like, okay, so I don't really like game jam formats, because I like, I like simmering with a game, you know, I like to really feel out the game, I don't, I think, like, a week, it's kind of like a little short for me to like just pop and drop a game but i know people like make full games out of their game jam submissions but like that's you know neither here nor there but let me show y'all let me show y'all something that um really could have made or break game dev because i've i've dropped it a bunch of times because i'm i was like i was not a smart kid bro. <laughs> i don't know i just i just like gained intelligence at some point and then oh my god where am i going bro? <laughs> and um I just really like dug into it and I, I want to major in computer science I love programming to death like not even just game making but I have I really love programming I don't know what happened to me senior year but my senior year I really just started programming computer stuff and I've really I've been loving it okay. so let's go to finished I think it's in finished okay right here bro. <laughs> so basically like so like it gets all the player data for like the score the moves the time all that yada 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 and then so right down here, this this whole thing right here is the leaderboard system, and this took me like two weeks to to like figure out. And I know maybe two weeks it, that might be like I don't know. Maybe if like people are I don't know. I don't know if that's a long time or a short time, but this frustrated me so bad because I'm not gonna lie. I'm a tutorial man, bro. I'm a tut tutorial Tyrone, bro, because. I be, I be griming for them tutorials, bro. I be looking all over the place. Like, like this, this whole game was based off a tutorial for like a puzzle game for Godot. And most of the stuff like, like the menus, which to be honest, I don't think using tutorials is bad. I think, cause like, there's no way, I mean, there's not no way, but like why figure something out like that when you can just like, some, some Einstein said, but this is the only time I'll ever like do some quote thing, but it's just, this quote from Einstein really like, I'm I'm not like it. I'm not like a nerd like that, bro. I just I just heard it one time and it really made me feel better about looking at tutorials. 
Einstein, Einstein, that nigga said, don't look, don't memorize anything you can look up. And I, that, hit, that hit me in my heart, bro. I was like, dude, he's spitting facts, bro, because my memory is garbage. Like, I, like right now, I'm putting like the music player, like the way like the music works in here. I'm trying to put that in my platformer. And I be looking back and forth, bro, and I got no shame about it. <laughs> okay, but so this. So this whole system, learning how to make this score system, like, <laughs> it, I have arrays. I cannot forget how arrays worked after this. This really put my array knowledge, like, through the roof, bro. And, like, like we kind of learned it in AP Computer Science, but it was, like, and, and if y'all want to use this code, bruh, feel free. I might I might do a full tutorial because this isn't everything. There's like a there's some other stuff you got to do, but like this is like the main way it works. Like let me start from the top. So that's all the variables. So like leaderboard dot all that. So at the top, that's the variable for the leaderboards. That's like getting all the leaderboard information, right? And then and then right under that, so where it's a score dot push back. That is pushing the player data score, which is the. Sc so this is all like the stuff that is saved, and the player data is. Like when you finish a level, like if you die or finish all the things, your play data is the one that's not saved. So it takes that and it pushes it in the uh, the list, which has, so the list has all four of, um. okay, so the list has all four uh, s scores saved, and then it pushes it as the fifth one. Is there four or five? It pushes it as like the one that's not, oh my god, what? <laughs> oh my god, hold on, bro. Uh, where is a score? Okay. So yeah, so one, two, one, two, three, four. So it does all four. So it pushes it as the fifth thing in the list. Like if y'all like, if y'all look right here. So they're all in a list. Like if y'all can see like the little brackets, those, those are lists. And all four of these are in the list. This is zero, one, two, and three. And they're sort, they sort themselves out over here. So it puts it in the back of like the thing, cause we just assume that your thing hasn't beaten the leaderboard. And then it sorts it, right? But then you have to invert it because sorting it, yeah, so it goes, so sort goes from smallest to biggest, right? So you have to, so when you sort them, the smallest, the smallest score would be in front if you leave it at sort. So you have to invert it so that the biggest one's in front. And then, so you have one, two, three, four, and five, whichever one turns out to be like the smallest, you pop it. Which means you just delete it. Like it doesn't. You don't even need it anymore. It's, it's done. <laughs> and then you do like for I and score, which is the list that you just fit, you just sorted with all this information. And then you insert the score. You insert all the scores. Like like so all the scores that like so it's like one two three four and then the player data gets sorted for each of their things. And then like you do like you do that you. Uh, like you find you find the appropriate thing for it and you give it it's like all of its like properties and then and then you pop um and then you pop all the stuff that you did like like the player data. So there's leaderboard data and player data. Player data should always be popped because that's like that's gonna get reset so the player can have a fresh thing when they start. And then you save the leaderboard info and then yada yada yada. That really like showed me that I was capable because I had no tutorial for this this was all me and my aunt <laughs> me and my aunt really like was really thinking about this but at the end of the day I'm glad that she didn't figure it out because she, she sent me like a good like pipe it's like a Python book or something I like skimmed it I went to the, like, I went straight to the array part and started looking at it but this really showed me that I was capable of like programming by myself which you know when you do a bunch of tutorials it's nice to know that you can like figure something out if you really try at it long enough and you know and uh <laughs> yeah so that, yeah you know just that that really like that really felt good and uh but this this whole project was just really good for like my Godot and I, I so I know a lot of people like want to do like the indie scene like oh like the next solo game I have full control that's 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 not me I really I want to join some triple a team bro I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cap <laughs> like I think I work better in a team because Lord knows, <laughs> Lord, Lord knows I'm not an artist. I am not a musician. So I suppose that's the point. I suppose that's the point. Uh, I don't even, what am I even talking about, bro? Some pee pee poo poo. Uh. But yeah, this, this was just my experience. That's just, 
I don't know. I don't. I guess this is technically a devlog, but I'm not gonna do like people like man. People do like them episodics, like the one through like 1,000, bro, until they finish it. That's that's not me. I I couldn't. I couldn't do that, bro. Cause uh, I don't know. But this is my experience. You know what I mean? Play the game if you want. <laughs> what? Okay, I'm just gonna be straight up. What I think is gonna happen for this game, bro, until we fix that like beginning cutscene, cause. The, after, the first thing you see after Freshwater Games is that like compressed ass cutscene, which again was my fault, because I was, I was making this game in a really weird like. Okay, where where is the uh, <laughs> like window? So, like the test width, I didn't understand what that did, so I did the test width as the real width, and then I made it 1280 by 720 to like make it better for like stuff, and. He made he made the cutscene in like whatever I forget what and he couldn't scale it, unless except for it being looking compressed, which was my fault. So I'm not gonna like. I mean like you know like I'm not gonna like. We're we're gonna fix it by the time, like if we if we we're waiting for like the the realization if we got if we go to states or not because I don't mind leaving the game as it is but if we do go to uh, nationals then I'll, I'll I'll still work on it for sure but. Um. Yeah, we definitely gonna redo that and then have an ending cutscene, yada yada yada. Um But yeah, man, that's that was just my experience. If y'all got to the end, I don't, I don't know what's wrong with y'all, bro. This video probably boring as hell. But if if you did, I really appreciate you being here. There will definitely be more content. I'm pl I'm planning on doing like a devlog for that platformer game soon because I really this platformer game is is like what I've wanted to do the whole time. Like the, like, when I think of, like, as a kid, like, when I play WarioWare DIY, man, that was the type of game I was I wanted to make, bro. But with that being said, uh, I'll see y'all later.